Hi, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to talk you through um, installing the first part of this uh, huge Sable update, which we are releasing over the next week for the um, for the first part. It'll be week by week. We'll work our way through. So the initial update is going to deal with the main mics. Now, um, you'll have seen in my previous YouTube video, I showed you how to construct uh, from your existing sample sets of whichever combinations of, of Sable you have, how to construct one master folder, um, a new folder which has the uh, which is just called Spitfire BML Sable Library, um, which has your samples folder inside it, and then um, depending on which parts you've downloaded, the relevant actual samples themselves. Now, if you uh, you will receive shortly um, some emails to let you know that your update is ready and queued up for the main mics, and this will be for across all four Sable libraries so far, volumes one to four. They're all um, set up so that they will feed into this master folder. So wh wherever you put this, um, you'll you'll need to direct the library manager to it. Well, you don't have to, but it's easier if you direct the library manager to it. It saves you copying files over from a, a separate destination. Um, if you haven't already uh, set up, you know, activated rather, your account on the new system, then uh, you go to login there, and then you enter the email that you used to buy with before. So this will probably, most of the time, it will be the the uh, email you use with either eJunkie or PayPal. Click activate new account. It will send you a, a link to reset your passport password, and um, and off you go. So then you log into the uh, library manager. Make sure you're using the latest version. Uh, you can always download that from the website from the link you get in the email. Um, and then you'll see that your installed products are all down here. And then we have the um, uh, the update product four products here um, and we can we can see that those are all ready for download so as I said it's main mics only first this update has been incredibly complicated uh, it's a full fundamental restructuring of the way that um, all of the libraries interact with each other so it's um, we just uh, we just want to try and keep it as simple as possible for it's a, a very very complicated procedure for us in the background uh, getting all of this um, prepared and ready so the first thing we're going to do is the main mics um, so let's start um, with our volume one I'm going to click download now the default location um, is actually not the location that I want here I'm working on this uh, this uh, copy of the library here. Now this is inside my folder called Redux Build. Um, inside here it's uh, you can see that it's on the same it's on this drive called Sable Work in Pro Process Safety. Um, you can see that inside there we've got that. I'm not going to select that because the, the, the downloader wants to look um, wants to find the library folder so that it knows it's putting the samples and instruments and everything in the right place. So you select the folder above that, which in my case is Redux Build. It can look inside Redux Build and then it'll find everything that, that um, it needs to find. So I click Open and then I click Download. And so it starts. So um, now the, the downloads that are happening for these four libraries um, include some new sample content, um, they include new scripting, new instrument files, um, and all of this stuff will be, it'll be taken care of in the background as, as you download. Um, and as you can see, it's going to take a little while for that one to download. I'm going to let that one go first, and then we'll come back to, we'll come back to our, our uh, walkthrough, and I'll go into the other ones as well, and you can see them all being gradually added to the to the library folder itself. So you can see that that is now installing and um, unzipping the files, combining things, putting everything in the right place. So as we watch that one proceed, we'll see gradually the extraction goes through and then these zip files will disappear and we'll be left with just the new content. So the, the samples are being put in the right place. You've got your new script NKRs, you've got your instruments file here, documentation. Uh, 
and if we look inside instruments you can see just the main mics obviously this is what we're updating at the moment and the sample content in the samples main mics so um, if we go back to the downloader and we'll start again um, volume 2 in fact we'll set all of these downloading simultaneously you can do that if you want uh, or if you prefer if, if you think you get a faster speed just for doing one at a time that's uh, that's fine as well um, and then uh, as you can see as the download start you'll get an estimate of the time the speed that it's going at and the time remaining um, that's four completed you can flick between these as well to see um, the detailed information on the actual each download itself um, but again I would say it's an estimate of the time uh, it, we haven't put too much computing power into into actually uh, you know making this hyper accurate <laughs> for obvious reasons so those ones are downloading now sometimes you might get the um, download bar freezing but um, that's uh, we're working on eliminating that bug so um, it tends to only happen with the uh, with the PC version so as you can see here we've got the um, sample content has come down we've got all the NKRs we've got um, all of your instruments uh, files inside here if you look it's worth um, having a look at the YouTube that explains the update as well look on our YouTube channel Spitfire Audio um, and check out how this is now um, built you'll see that there are different volume patches um, obviously if you don't have the samples if you haven't bought volume three for example then um, then uh, you won't be able to load the patch that says volume three um, but there it's laid out in a in a really straightforward way and um, hopefully that's uh, that's all f very well explained in my earlier video so we'll see in here it's useful sometimes to pop um, your old instruments in a folder called legacy here um, and to drag over your old NKRs. Now the, the legacy instruments maybe you keep them f because you want to reference um, everything inside the root level for the NKR so put them inside the the um, main Sable library folder. The reason that you might want the NKRs is because if you have um, an existing project that you try that you load up an old we're using old versions of the of the NKRs um, it will look here for them so it'll have the NKI files held locally um, you can always swap those out with the new ones from from the new instruments um, folders but the actual old instruments NKIs that are in your old projects will it'll be looking for um, the old NKR script holders so there we go that is how to update um, your Sable library please um, we're rolling this out over a week so uh, and then we'll move on to the other alt mic stereo mixes around so please don't contact support um, before next Thursday if you haven't received your downloads um, and we are working through them as fast as we can it's been incredibly complicated so do please bear with us and um, we're getting these out as fast as we can hopefully you'll enjoy using them thanks very much for watching see you on the next one